we are going to clear up some confusion on the terms tone, spasticity, and foot drop. If you've had damage to your brain, foot drop is not what is impacting your ability to walk normally. It's very rare that I see someone that has had a stroke or damage to their brain that has only has damage to the area of the brain that impacts the muscle to lift the foot. Now, why do I tell you that? A true foot drop, in my opinion, is when you only have damage or you only have some kind of an impairment that impacts your ability to lift the foot. Where do we see like true foot drops? Anyone that's had damage to what we call like a peripheral nerve outside of the brain and the spinal cord. This is like nerve compressions. People that have had total hip replacements can potentially have this. Peripheral neuropathy can cause foot drop. But this is important. Someone that has foot drop does not have spasticity. The foot drop, the inability to activate the muscles that lift the foot, is not the thing that is creating the biggest problems when it comes to you being able to walk. Most likely, you can't lift your foot because of the tone, the spasticity on the backside. 